Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is POCO XC custom ROM review standard version is 13 here the evolution X this is the OSS build guys without a like a camera I mean the MIUI like a edition camera this edition is on 5th February 2023 and 7.6.1 Adobe Surya community you can see here kernel user is 4.14.305 dex k kernel the kernel is really good and the this particular rom the build date is february 14 this is the latest build available there is one more build regarding this evolution x that will be also covered in my channel for that you need to subscribe to my channel down below and also allow that bell notification whenever i upload a new video you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like and say status is enforcing here and i have been running some cp throttling test from last like 15 minutes and one milliseconds you can see here the maximum is 186 and average is 152 and minimum is 112 and there is a little bit of throttling going on and this is 100 threat test guys cp is throttled to 63 percent of its max performance which is i can say these days i am noticing similar uh, results in any roms you can see my previous videos with this 100 threat test there is showing some throttle in the snapdragon 732g power poco x with the custom roms what you can say about this let me know in the comment section these are the apps i have installed and this is the typical app dot and this is the typical home screen you get and this is a quick settings panel you get as you can see the brightness of the two quick settings panel you can see it uh, something like uh, flickering like effect i am seeing here and in the edit section you get other options here and this of the quick settings panel it's smooth but the flickering like effect slight difference i have noticed if you guys can also notice let me know in the comment section guys and this is a typical home screen you get and press and hold here you get ux launcher here you can customize icons home screens app drawer and recent even suggestions has been given and miscellaneous settings you get here you can restart the launcher from here this is typical ux launcher and wallpapers and style let me show you widgets as i said it's all available the under 13 material u design is carried away in under 13 also those are presents and wallpapers colors and basic colors the combination of colors are also given here lot more options has been given in terms of customization in wallpaper colors and basic colors dark theme i'll show within a bit and themed icons has been given custom themed icons also options has been given if you install certain apps you can make it out and app grid you get up to 6 into 10 which is good in my opening system fonts also you can customize lot more fonts are available in this particular rom icon packs also few are given in this particular rom now going into some benchmark results this is an android to benchmark result in this particular rom the evolution x 7.6.1 you can see 3,51,686 and temperature raise was 2.5 degrees celsius and battery percentage of 2 percent has been dropped during this testing of and the scores are good not bad but i was expecting a little bit better 3 lakh 60 around like that but this is how it is and uh, now the geekbench 5 has been gone from play store and this is geekbench 6 actually device okay where is the history has been gone benchmark i need to again do it out or what settings oh my god i have already run the score but i can't see it benchmark compute let's do one thing i will run the benchmark and come back within a while you can see the single score is 715 and multi score is 1603 there is a little bit boosting has been done in single score with this geekbench 6 edition not with the rom guys and android version 13 and links 4.14.305 dex care kernel has been used here which is good in my opinion but the app should give the history results here simply it's missing that i really don't like it let's see how it updates in the future apart from that uh, the drm information again you get a level one certification you can also judge the app opening time while opening certain apps guys it's a level one you can watch all the audit applications in high definition resolution and shift in status here it gets failed you can see basic integrity is also getting filled i don't think so we can pass it out using magic's model if you know let me know in the comment section guys and internet connectivity i have 100 mbps geo uh, sorry fiber connection here it's pulling up to 95 mbps which is good in my 
opinion the safety net status could have been passed here but the interface and everything is really smooth i thought this could be a very good daily driver but after seeing the safety net status i was a little bit disappointed and you can see here the camera you get this mu sorry the arno build gcam i have installed here you won't get any pre-installed camera here not even a google go camera or any snapdragon camera is also not installed pre-installed in this particular rom you need to note that that's it nothing more here and bgm gameplay i will show you within a while before that let's go into settings and see in the evolver you get similar settings themes and here in the dark theme again there is option to use a custom theme which is in a pitch black condition as you can see you can choose vivid monet and some of the other options are also given but this is one which looks completely dark in my opinion and some of the other settings like status bar you can use the icon and some of the other settings you can customize from here and notifications again you get plenty of customizations here power menu advanced shirt button is also there notifications has been shown already quick settings again you get plenty of similar options and the gestures also you get some of the options here into system settings if i go into the system navigation into gesture navigation you can see there is option to increase the pillar and and radius which is good in my opinion and apart from that you get typical gesture settings that's present here and lock screen settings again similar to any other settings and buttons also similar here animations you get these options here and miscellaneous settings again unlimited photo storage and fps and other options you can see here those are still present here which is good in my opinion and going into actual settings here you can see the apps and other settings the app opening time something in the settings is also a little bit delay not too fast and battery and battery usage if i want to show the chart is not given here yeah that's how it is it is good i think it's more of a performance rather than a efficiency and sound and vibration again you get a typical sound settings you get enable this direct sound settings and other options and even high face sound also given haptic feedback strength you can adjust from here wallpaper sound style i shown accessibility settings is present here without actually using the physical buttons you can use that security options you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock that's it and the system already shown these are the settings available let's show you the fingerprint unlock first as you can see it's very quick to unlock your smartphone using that and let's show the face unlock yeah it's also a little bit sometimes it makes difficult but let's check once again yeah it's quick again yeah it's quicker to unlock your smartphone using the face unlock also and one more thing regarding let's show this as you can see it is charging slowly only it is charging slowly it's not showing charging rapidly once i connected the 33 watt charger it's one more disappointment i don't know what's the version why they push this updates i don't know they can fix these options like cts profile match and cts those safety net status whatever it is the basic integrity they need to fix that and uh, add some camera application such that people will uh, make fun to install this kind of custom roms but uh, that's how it is guys we will show you bgm my gameplay and end of this video you guys can see here the graphics set to smooth plus 90 fps you should enable that in the settings as i shown before and this is bgm only i would have tried pubg mobile it took like around 15 minutes to go into the match and the match making took 15 minutes and that's it i don't think so this could be a very good option for you let me know in the comment section guys next time i don't want to review this rom if you have interest then only i will make it out the other version is coming very soon after this i will straight away flash that rom After that I will flash that ROM and make that review also. Wait for a while. And it is fine the gameplay. Yeah, major problem I didn't see it but we have option of like uh, uh, this uh, Evolution X with similar ROM we have camera application and all. 
then why would someone choose this isn't it it's anything differentiating i didn't face any problem with it it's also good but not that great i can say some of the options they would have been added by default hope so the gameplay is fine it's quite good here it's fine no one around me will come back and this is the evolution x versus base 7.6.1 for poco x slash nfc everything is fine here the ram management is also fine as you can see the recent apps are very very quick here we'll meet with uh, the next evolution x similar rom with the new camera install pre install the other version of it we'll save with that video stay tuned to my channel thank you for watching guys we'll meet with another instagram until that keeps smiling bye bye for now